Let us pray together the Novena Prayer to St. Jude, found on page 13 of your service leaflets. We pray together. St. Jude, glorious apostle, faithful servant and friend of Jesus, the name of the traitor has caused you to be forgotten by many, but the church honors and evokes you universally as the patron of difficult and desperate cases. Pray for me, who am in need of God's mercy. Make use, I implore you, of that particular privilege accorded to you to bring speedy and visible help where help was almost despaired of. Come to my assistance in this great need, that I may receive the consolation and help of heaven in all my necessities, tribulations, and sufferings, particularly And that I may praise God with you and all the elect throughout all eternity. I promise you, O blessed Jude, to be ever mindful of this great favor. I will honor you as my special and powerful patron and encourage devotion to you. St. Jude, pray for us and for all who honor and invoke thine aid. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In my job, I travel all up and down the West Coast uh, working at our Dominican parishes. And of these places, that means going in and out of a lot of airports. Now, when you walk into an airport dressed in medieval clothing or in a Roman collar, you sometimes get interesting looks. But I have to say, at least here at the airports in California, there's enough of, enough of the Catholic culture that when people see the rosary, they understand that I'm a Catholic something. Most people figure I'm a priest. However, some airports, most notably the Seattle airport, I get really weird looks and sometimes get really angry looks. And I think there's angry looks sometimes when they realize I am a Catholic and a Catholic priest. Now recently when the scandals happened, I was having to go up to Seattle to work at our parish, Blessed Sacrament. And it crossed my mind. Should I still wear my Roman collar? Should I wear my habit out in public? I thought about it and I said, yeah, I think I should. I don't want to be obnoxious about it, but at the same time, this is not the time to take Christ off the streets. Brothers and sisters, today, here at the Shrine of St. Jude, we will have a public demonstration of the faith as friends of Christ walking through the great streets of San Francisco walking through the streets of San Francisco, carrying St. Jude, carrying the cross, and being very boldly Catholics on the street. Now, I've been preaching on friendship all this week, and we have this beautiful passage from Ephesians today about how the Lord has given us all various gifts and to come together and to work as a body, to work as a body of Christ, maintaining the unity of faith. And that's what we show whenever we have a sort of public demonstration of the faith. Now, it's interesting to note, whenever tyrants want to suppress the Catholic Church, one of the first things they do is ban outward expressions of the faith. You can have religious freedom, they would say, but in your church building, don't bring it on the street, no processions, certainly no clerical clothing in, in public. This happened in Mexico. During the persecutions there, it was not even legal to wear clerical clothing until the 1990s, although it was tolerated, most notably when St. John Paul II showed up in Mexico in 1979 wearing his cassock. What are they going to do, arrest the Pope? Yes, they could, but they didn't. Brothers and sisters, let us then be friends of Christ, but be friends of Christ boldly and publicly, but without being obnoxious. We always want to stay away from what I call the double O's, obnoxiously orthodox, right? To live our faith boldly, to live it as Catholics, to live it always solidly in accordance with the teachings of Christ and his church, and to live it joyfully. Because guess what? Truth is beautiful. Truth is infectious. Truth will attract others. Truth will help us, who are friends of Christ, to make more friends of Christ. Let us continue to then be bold in proclaiming our faith with great joy, and do it always under the banner of Christ, that we might get to heaven and help others get there too.
Praise be Jesus Christ, now and forever.